record to PC. There we go then. Happy Saturday, everyone. Cheers, Tivo, David, Aaron, Magnus, Tommy. Thanks for joining. Uh, today, today, today is Saturday, like I said, and we have Aaron with Consens here. And Aaron, what are we doing here? <laughs> what are you doing, actually? Hey, Felix. Hey, everyone. So, um... What we are doing here is that we will start, hopefully, start really playing uh, with uh, the consensus platform and around a very uh, hot topic, I think, uh, CIP 1694. Um, I, will I will try to show how we can use uh, the, the platform for some kind of productive online discussion as we wish to, to create a product to, our, uh, uh, to the process. Um, and I should say that I, I, I would repeat something that I said to Danny in Twitter and later on uh, to Felix when uh, he uh, invited me for this meeting. Um, the, 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 at first, I thought that uh, this issue may be too complicated for the platform in its stage because it's still an MVP version, and this is a very complicated issue with technical aspects and uh, uh, ideological aspect and it can be, it could be that for now the platform will not completely be able to support this kind of a process but so uh, but but i don't want to give up this opportunity uh, so let's uh, uh, treat it as a experiment inside of an experiment so things may break there will be lack of uh, features needed and uh, a lot of uh, 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 things that you will run into some some uh, difficulty maybe trying to use the platform but what for for me most important is to learn from from your feedback in order to, to us to be better to prioritize our uh, our missions our uh, uh, development plan uh, but hopefully it will provide a value to the process as well right away i really hope so i uh, cannot promise it that's this this is the caveat uh, so I will jump in right into it, or are there already some questions? Maybe uh, one question about general when speaking about consents. What does consents as tool, as platform, aims to do? Okay, so <clears throat> the, the aim of the platform is to bring structure and productivity to online discussions, to allow large-scale groups uh, to participate uh, in very clear and transparent set of rules uh, in, in a discussion that will create a document that reflects the, ag the agreement of, of the participants. So we can discuss the data that we disagree on, but we still have some kind of a tool to focus on, on the things that we do agree and to uh, act on them. So uh, unlike social network discussions that sh most of the time when we have a point of disagreement, all of the energies go there and we lose touch with what we can agree and what we can act for, this tool by the, by, by the mechanism, it's, a, it's combining uh, editing tools, uh, voting and discussions. By combining these three, three main features, uh, we can provide a, a process with a product. That is, it is the agreement. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, I'm sorry, I came in a little late. What, uh, just for my information, what's the name of the platform, Aaron? Consens. Th thank you. Okay. With a set, set at the end. I put it. I put a link in the live chat here. Yeah. So very important. Um, let's go ahead. Actually, I don't see the link. I'll put it again, maybe. Because I, I wish that this experiment will be interactive, which means you can participate while I'm demonstrating uh, the platform uh, uh, in my screen. So I'll, I will share the screen, You'll be able to see what we are talking about. Oh, sorry, this mm -hmm. was the wrong link. I will send now the right one. Here we go in the live chat, everyone. Okay. So, um, I, I have created a group for this. Uh, Tommy, you still have a question or you just left away? Okay. Um, so I have created a group for this specific uh, 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 mission 
of discussing uh, the CIP uh, the CIP articles. Uh, as you can see, I, I am a, mem a member of other groups. Later on, hopefully, uh, uh, maybe some of you have all been ready. There was someone someone here that they participate in a Cardano for Climate uh, demonstration as well. I don't think so. So it won't be a problem. Uh, you can jump in and log in uh, using right now Google account or email. Later on, we will implement also a Wallet Connect. And what that we see here is actually I I've taken I take the CIP uh, text from GitHub and put and break it down for to four parts, and each one of them is an agreement of its own. So the fact Thanks. that I've done it. Oh, one short question to, to yeah. this, Aaron. So just looking on the design means this is actually quite nice, let's say, if you have a complex document, which you want to split in several, let's say, groups, right? And then you call, can go into each of the groups and then rather than, let's say, you build agreement about the whole general document, you really split it up already and you build consensus around sp specific parts of the larger document, right? Yeah, so you, it's you, it, you mm. break it down. It's more digestible, uh, and may, may, maybe uh, and hopefully more accessible. But but by by the fact that I have broken down the uh, the document in this manner, I may have affected some of the content. So still, every each of one of you can create a new agreement. You can uh, upload the full uh, CAP into one document. You can break it down differently. You can create a completely new agreement based on the principle, maybe alternative to CAP 1694 that maybe stand for a vote. So this option is open for everyone, but I wish to us, for us to focus on the agreements that I have uh, uh, already uh, created. So, okay. uh, yes. Can I ask you again a question there? Because this, I think, also once again, really interesting topic. So you mean that the categories which you set up here already, let's say the four ones here, they don't have to be set by the administrator. They can be set by each community member. So everybody who wants to participate in the discussion can actually pull up his own category and say, hey, this is something where I think, let's say, there needs to be a certain agreement be built up on. Yeah. So uh, as, we, as we wish to create a process as it is very structured, we may limit uh, the freedom of expression. So inside of each of each agreement, the, the, the participant can participate in very high resolution on, on the de details of the document, but, uh, we st but we still wish to allow um, different, uh, uh, different way of thinking. So, to, to change right now, to go into one, ch one document and to change 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, uh, sections will be hard, but to create a completely new one maybe will be easy. And then it can be, there can be a competition on attention by different, uh, by, by different documents that can uh, uh, be, be for, uh, on the for the same group. So I I suggest that, that we choose the the part of the constitution because uh, I've heard a, a lot of discussion around it o already and I think for me personally it's the most most interesting. But while we are uh, particip while we are uh, uh, demonstrating the, the platform here, you can go to other parts of uh, of the CIP in consent and start uh, uh, interacting with it. So. I will just get, give a, 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 a quick tour of, of how uh, you can interact with the platform. Well, first of all, we have uh, the title and the the, the, uh, the rationale of the plat of, of the specific text. This is of the specific agreement. This specific text is set the frame for the discussion, and it's by, it's done by the uh, uh, owner of the agreement. So everyone can create a new agreement and add his own rationale and then to create uh, the different sections. And the goal is to bring the section suggestions into the draft. Such uh, suggestions that receive enough support will go in, it will be part of the draft. So if I go here, uh, maybe someone maybe want to, uh, to start, re uh, maybe you can, we can read together the sections of the, uh, of the CIP and start some uh, live discussion while 
uh, writing on the same time. Do you think, think this is something that you like to experiment? Yeah, definitely. But could you describe on the top when when you when you go to this top of the page, you have this the Cardano constitution. Is this a text already from the document, or this is a description how to use the below sections or how they kind of interact? Yeah, this is text that I took from the CIP in GitHub. Uh, so it's again, it was a, a, a decision that I took to separate it from the the more interactive part of the of the document and put it now as as the, the as the static text that set the frame for the for the discussion. So there are some principles that you can you can agree with. If you disagree with, then you can create a new agreement with uh, uh, under the same uh, title or with different title. But uh, the the invitation is to edit the section of this specific uh, document. Okay, uh, so, so the top one is an like hard coded agreement what we're gonna talk about, and the below sections are the kind of the more detailed information which belongs under that agreement, but not really yet mm, uh, like agreed to yet <laughs> exactly the the creator of the agreement has the privilege to set uh, uh, the, the the frame for the agreement and it does it by setting the name by setting the rationale that other participants cannot change and setting the chapters and then the 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 the, the work to the collaborative work is happening on the sections of the chapters in very high resolution so you should accept the general idea of the agreement before we go into the detail and if you do not you can create a new agreement uh, uh, on the on the platform yes felix um, maybe then in the top of the board document maybe it's wise each time to link back let's say for example to the original content in this regard cip 1694 yeah. on github you're right and right. so that people for example directly have a link directly can go on the original and see, oh, okay, this here is an abstract, or this is a part already of the, let's say, original document, which leads me actually to the problem is, I think one thing what is really nice is you can build stronger communications than on GitHub maybe, and just from the data side, would it be possible to pull in conversations from GitHub into consents and to facilitate conversations between, let's say, for example, your platform and the conversations which are going on on GitHub already. Yeah, uh, th this is a great idea. Actually, we have proposed, uh, uh, um, uh, we, ha we have submitted a proposal, I think it was in Fund 8 for URL Conversations, this was the name of it, uh, to create better integration between different platforms. And we plan to resubmit it for, the, for Fund 10. Uh, so we can create, I, I, I see it uh, uh, that we, we uh, we, we bring the discussion from social media and other platform and GitHub uh, to consensus and we bring it back. So we can create, we create a very uh, robust API that can communicate with GitHub, can communicate with Discourse, with the Cardano uh, Governance Forum, can communicate with uh, a, a Telegram group. And by that, we can create very uh, um, interactive and, and, and cross-platform discussion. This will this will require, as you, as you can guess, a lot of resource for development, uh, but it's, I, sh I really hope to, to, get, to get to it later on. Uh, so uh, how do we interact with the platform? So uh, as I said, the, the main interaction is happening here uh, inside of each chapter. By the way, you can, the, the chapter are foldable, so it may be a little bit easier to navigate uh, between the different parts of, of, the, of the agreement. And uh, when you're hovering below or on top of a section, you will you can see this plus button. Click on it, and you can create a new a new say, section suggestion. So this new suggestion will will be showed will be dis displayed in this this page, but only after it will receive enough support, it will enter into the draft. And and now I see that we already have a first section that being approved. The Cardano. Constitution is a text document that defines Cardano shared value and guided principles. At this stage, it is meant to be 
informational documents that unambiguously capture the Cardano core value at a later stage. We can imagine the constitution perhaps evolving as a smart contract-based set of rules driving the entire governance framework. For now, however, the, com the constitution will remain an off-chain document whose hash digest value will be recorded on-chain. So the fact that it is part of the draft does not mean that this is the end of the process. We can still go into the section itself, click on this plus button, and then to edit the section and put the, our edit version into a vote and a discussion. And even though this, propose, this suggestion has already been approved, as you can see by this little b here, if another version will receive more support than this one, it will replace it in the draft. Right now, we still have a, a missing very important feature of a removing sections from, from, the, from the draft, which means if you go to this, to this section and just vote it against it, even though there will be a lot of uh, against, it still be part of the document until another section will replace it. But this is something hopefully we will develop uh, in the near future as well. Yes, I see another question. Uh, Roger, this is, I pronounced the name right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, I was, uh, so right now, of course, there is no wallet integration, but uh, after the wallet integration, um, I'm thinking what would be some restrictions on, on people who can actually uh, add sections or edit sections? So uh, at some point it might get messy if we, especially if we have bad actors. Uh, yeah. So how can we limit this using maybe minimum wallet? Like you, you should have like at least one hundred ADA, or you should be, uh, you should have a wallet which is uh, which is staked or something like that. That might be something to consider. Yeah, I, I, yeah surely I, I don't have answer for for this question, but I think you you already mentioned a few possibilities, and and there are others. And it's up to the, the the users and the groups that will use consent to, to decide. Maybe for some group, uh, some DAO, they have some kind of identification for some uh, NFT that if the, the holder of the NFT can have the eligibility to participate in creating agreement on consents, maybe other will demand some uh, minimum threshold uh, of uh, of governance token holding. Uh, we can we can uh, we can find the right uh, uh, way to to create the defense against civil attacks uh, also by using deeds. This is also something that we have a funded proposal that uh, 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 we hope to, to promote, uh, to go back to promoting very soon. So, so yes, right now, the platform, as I said, it's an MVP version. Uh, it's a it's web to uh, application. You can uh, log in using a, a Google account or a email and, and a password. Uh, later on, the the, uh, the wallet connect will be only the first feature in in the in the roadmap of creating on-chain uh, component for for consents. Uh, for uh, later on, uh, we uh, we also we would like to create some kind of on-chain voting. Uh, you, uh, so let, let's say that the the community can create together the draft, but only draft that will uh, receive enough support in on-chain process will be considered to be uh, approved. Uh, this is also something that uh, some kind of on-chain uh, uh, features that we wish to integrate into the, into the platform later on. Maybe there were some questions in the chat that I missed. Yeah, Sherry made a really good comment. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. He writes, would be great to have on the, maybe Chema, Jeremy, you want to speak it yourself? Maybe not, then I do. Uh, because Jeremy P says, you, usually Jeremy P says quite interesting and intelligent stuff. So, and once again, so would be great to have on the general page for an agreement a section that documents the intent behind having an agreement on consent. The yeah, person yeah, or yeah. team that has submitted it, if it, uh, emoji go away, emoji. <laughs> Uh, okay, if it, I can't read what it means because I have a weird bar up there. Uh, how can I get rid of this shit? I can't get rid of this. Well, if it X something somewhere else, such as a link or, or to a git, 
any other background that is known about the document. Basically a context card so people can get oriented to the overall effort. Yeah, maybe, yeah, this is something, it's a good idea to create some kind of a, a page for the group that can uh, contain some links to other materials and relevant uh, uh, platforms that this group is, is using. Yeah, I understand. But, uh, but for now, I, I really hope that uh, this specific uh, uh, structure can provide some kind of, uh, I don't know, a launchpad for, for different discussion around, uh, around, uh, um, around CIP 1694. Let's say for just for another example, if I go to the constitution, you can see that there, there was a, great, I see, the, uh, there, was, there was a to-do uh, section and I see that someone already have uh, a TIVO, have already created some, uh, a propose, some suggestion uh, for, to replace this to-do. Uh, so there are others and, and also we can, we can always change other sections that already exist. Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think Einstein was first and, and then Tivo. Uh, yeah, so uh, I was wondering, should we have like some form of activity tracker? Because the more the topics are created, you would like to know like where is all of the energy being put into? Is it 50 topics being written by one person or is there uh, 200 people working on one topic and really generating traction on that? I think some form of like activity tracker screen would be really helpful when this has a lot of information. Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, th this platform can, can generate a lot of data that can be uh, examined for different uh, kind of insights. Um, maybe some some basic uh, uh, data like, like you suggest, but later on, much more com complex, complex. Also, I think something that I, I dream of, I, I share with you some, some things that right now I have no ability to, to develop, but I really wish to see uh, some kind of integration with the backend of a police uh, platform, because they have this beautiful map that can, you can divide for dif uh, different groups according to the vote and then to see what is in consensus in the middle and, mm -hmm. what, and what is not. And if we can integrate this uh, backend into the uh, the section uh, versions of, of the platform or different agreements that are competing together uh, to each other we can have a great uh, understanding of uh, of the ideas that are shared by the communities that can be comp for compromise or for consensus actually and also see it visualize it right now it's only happening in the back end of the voting mechanism uh, the only visual that you have is this bar but if we can create this kind of a map, this, this would be great. Yes, Thanks, Tivo. that's a good answer. Yeah, I already had tried out like how could do versions and, session, and sections. And my first uh, like use case I see is that perhaps it's better to start like sentence by sentence and, and creating more of like statements because else we will have yeah, because if you put the entire section down, it, I, yeah, I don't know. How would you split, like, for example, if there is something, one thing you disagree with out of, like, bigger context, then you would have to create a new section which has the older version or make, make a new version of that new one and create a new sentence or, like, a new section version, a new one, and it kind of, will start confusing because the danger there is that, like you mentioned before, that if now somebody upvotes the new section, it's going to, and the older version is not going to update it, you will have conflicting information in the same document. Mm, so what, what what is the like best practice in like sentence based or a statement based or in, in these cases? This, or, this is a question that, uh, always uh, uh, been troubled us uh, in the design of the platform in different uh, uh, iteration of it because it, it, the first few iteration of concerns, by the way, it, it became, it, there are a lot of iterations. This, this project has been started, you can say, even 10 years ago, maybe even 11 years ago. It, it, it's a lot, a lot of history. And one of its first iterations was a, a was not it was not a division to chapters and and uh, and uh, section but one block one text 
uh, as we used to in Notion or in uh, Google Doc. Uh, and then we realized that people can change the whole text and uh, or different parts of the text, and it is very hard to uh, to um, get the attention on the specific uh, change that, that uh, a user uh, uh, suggests in, in this kind of a structure. So we, we can break it down to uh, higher resolution to to lines like in in, in code that you, you that you count the lines uh, but uh, we, we decided for now to to allow some flexibility so the section is the the smallest unit that we decided for now to, to bring the, uh, the activity to uh, and as you can see maybe not here but in other in other parts the, there is all, also a, an option for to add tables into um, into sections. So the the level of complexity you know, it was in governance sections. Yes, um, here you can see. So the level of com of complexity uh, for for uh, for 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 the units that we wish to to bring the most activity to is something that still. We need to need to consider maybe we, maybe it will be better to break it down even further as you suggested, Tivo, to uh, to lines and maybe we we can maybe should, we should do it in low resolution in one document. We this is something else that we A/B testing should should uh, should bring a lot of uh, direction for this. But but this is the decisions that we make now and we we, we should. Right yes. to so basically, it's more up to the group who is using the tool to set up the processes and the way it kind of works for them. Uh, for now, it's not something that by setting a group you can you can set these parameters as well. But uh, consensus is an open source, and right now we have started working also on better documentation to onboard new developers. So. This is something that the, the community, the developers community, can examine. Maybe, maybe they will. Maybe another breaking down of the content will uh, bring better engagement or better better result, and and we can we can uh, uh, integrate it. Um, so, ah, we back to. So I wonder, I want to ask you, um, I don't know how many of you are very uh, um, active in the discussion, the community discussions that is happening now in, in I see it mainly in, in Twitter, but I guess in other platform, maybe in the forum as well. Uh, if you can, you can try to channel some of this energy into into the process of consent because if we can create very even if it will be very rough very uh, pre preliminary uh, a draft that uh, with with some changes that later on maybe we can create also a pull request for uh, the original CIP in in uh, CIP 1694 in, uh, in GitHub uh, maybe we can capture some of the the great insights that, and perspective that are being expressed right now in the social media platform and are getting lost in the very chaotic conversation. I, I really like to, to hear if there if someone thinks there is some kind of a feasible way to, to do that, to create this kind of a yeah, content. Aaron, Aaron, where would this document reside? Where, where would it live and how would it be uh, accessed? So, for instance, um, one of the things we're looking at, Swarm, is um, doing Twitter space um, on on discussing this. How would we upload or, or keep the document uh, um, up to date, so to speak? Um, it's all accessed here. We, um, I, will, I will paste the, uh, the link again in the chat. So uh, it's open. It's open and accessible. Everybody, everyone can log in. Uh, right now, as I said, there are no uh, um, security measure to for uh, create a, a, a civil attacks to to prevent civil attacks. So 
it's if if it will become viral then i i I fear that the, that the platform won't be able to support it if there will be too many uh, um, too many users that are not really human. But if we can keep it in small group and to expand it gradually, then maybe maybe we can do show some value in, in a different way of uh, conducting online discussion. So if that's the case, and we did something the um, whatever is typed would be through human prejudice would be entered through human prejudice and may be skewed a little bit if I understand that. Um, I'm not sure that I understand the question. Can you please repeat? Well, if we're having a discussion and we don't let everybody type into it, say it's a Twitter space or mm -hmm. a, a Discord mm -hmm. conversation, we don't want everybody entering. Uh, then one or two people are going to be entering information and, and they, we will have our own prejudices, which would influence uh, what actually was entered uh, in my experience. Is, is this one way to handle it? Um, so, so to collect the, the different uh, suggestions for different sections and some, and some administrator will upload it. Uh, but also we can, I think, we can post the link if we if we are talking about Twitter Spaces, is it really bring the active uh, participant of the community in, in this discussion, and we will keep a, a, an eye on the platform to make sure that there is no misuse, there is no trolling or uh, overload of information, and if so, uh, we will uh, control the content from the back end. So. As a start, like every start in this in, in decentralized uh, um, platform, it will it will be more centralized. Right now, I will con I will uh, uh, control the content, uh, but hopefully, as we go uh, move along, the content will be more in the uh, control of the users. But for the, the this practical need of the Twitter Spaces, I suggest that we will do uh, publish the link. And, and just make sure that I'm available and I'm uh, uh, aligned with you in the schedule. So I will be uh, monitoring the content in case of misuse and uh, to, control, to control it. Okay, so Tommy, I, I would li like to be in touch about uh, the schedule of the, of the spaces when it will happen. Thanks. Yeah, Rodo, go ahead. Uh, one thing I was thinking about is um, it would be nice if uh, the people who are contributing into these sections could be included, at least their, I don't know, handles, their uh, information could be at the end of the draft. Uh, that might be something to consider. Yeah, yeah. We, we have already uh, um, been designed. Let me see if I can put it off. Uh, a leaderboard. Uh, for the platform, it's already been the design has already been completed. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will get into the development of it. And yes, this I th I think uh, this will answer the need that you that rose because it it is very important to give feedback to the users and and the, the, and to the user that uh, contributed to the process. And uh, let me see if I can show you how it will look like. This is a feature that we have already started working on, and and hopefully we can implement it very soon. Just sorry, cannot find it. Never mind. Etivo, uh, maybe you go to your question, and I will keep looking for it in the meanwhile. Um, not really a question. Um, I just realized another issue we might come across quite fast is when i read other statements um is that we have this like section two section three is it possible that we could give a name to that title instead of section because for example if the, the way i started using it now was like sentence by sentence but what is that like why do i write the sentence like a question what i'm answering and this would be much easier for others to do the version because for example what i did is like the section three in case of no confidence in the first three months the constitution will be rejected and fall back to key to get seven key system 
and constitution is rejected. Um, and the question I was answering was the idea of like, what happens if, well, what happens if in, if the system gets, as soon as its constitution is accepted, it falls into the space of constitution is rejected. And to, to, for me, this was the answer, but for somebody else, it may be more elaborate answer, but he wouldn't know what I was answering because it's just section three and he has to either agree or same sub change parameters, like, because I already set the framework, but it doesn't, it didn't really give, doesn't give this um, freedom to think totally different solution. Or, or they will do a totally different section somewhere else. And then we have similar statements into different sections, yeah. and then which would also create this duplication of draft in the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, there are some ways to 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 um, handle this kind of uh, uh, scenarios that that you you present, but I think. I think there is some kind of a cost for this kind of a process, and the cost is that we we may create a product that it is not completely coherent. That there are some gaps or or uh, uh, redundancies uh, and some ideas that are not completely uh, um, aligned together. So this is something that we need to 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 watch closely. And to see if maybe uh, maybe more uh, hands-on uh, uh, editing and uh, can can solve uh, maybe more moderation and maybe eventually uh, I I tend I have some kind of optimistic uh, uh, um, approach that um, that the, the user if we can in, in you know the, the wisdom of the crowd will come to fruition in in, in this in, in this platform so if there will be some kind of uh, a contradiction between different sections people will notice if a lot of people will come and vote and even though and, and even if not we can we can fix it uh, uh, retroactively because the fact that it's entered into, into the draft uh, does not mean it's obligated and then later on when we when we bring document to be approved and and and, and as i said we hope to create this step on chain by on chain voting maybe with a, a, a special voting a, a event a, of, of the catalyst stuff maybe with other maybe with reprops there are many ways there are many platform many projects we can work uh, together to create the step of bringing a draft from consents and voting in on chain so maybe a threshold or or, or, or a demand for a draft to on, to come to a vote to, to to put into a vote it will be that there are no no, no contradiction it is coherent people do, do, doesn't just vote it uh, and then created some text that is not can cannot be worked with and maybe there will be also some kind of edit process that will needed uh, another approved from, from the community so there will be there will be some problem like like this um I I hope I believe that we can solve it uh, with with the uh, logic of the platform, but maybe we will need to change the logic later on to uh, to prevent this kind of uh, uh, of scenarios if they will be if they will do, uh, harm the process. Uh, okay, I, I really if if there are others that still haven't has, has not. Uh, logged in and really try to play with the platform. I really encourage you to do that. I think this is the best way to really uh, exper experience and experiment uh, this tool and to bring us the, the, the feedback and to understand how it can be useful. Any other ideas or feedbacks? Um, or have a question. Let's say we want to build some first experiences because obviously the, it's still an MVP, but the very best thing we can get out already is as community getting familiar and comfortable already with alternative tools like yours. And then the question, let's say 
how do, would we want to proceed like after the session if we close the call? Do we want to keep the thing, for example, in swear, uh, shared already in Swarm, inviting some uh, some people, having a certain time frame already get to see if people maybe add some notes and whatnot, and coming back on a later stage to revisit all the stuff? Or how would you ideally see it happen, the experimentation with consensus tool? Um, I, I think that the, the, one of the uh, main uh, advantages of, of, of the platform is that we can create some kind of, of live discussion uh, in, in a Zoom meeting uh, where we get a lot, of, a lot of information from the conversation and put it into writing uh, in the consensus and then later on to continue the conversation on writing in, in the platform. So the conversation can go also in very, very high resolution uh, for each section. So um, I think I noticed one, one of the sections that uh, uh, I noticed that create already some kind of, uh, um, some kind of discussion. I don't remember exactly. Or the setup maybe. Um, By using the the comment features feature of the of the section, maybe we we can we can uh, um, use the, the URL. Each section and and each version have its own unique URL, so you can use it and promote it in 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 different uh, places and platforms that the discussion is happening. And and if if it's relevant to bring the specific section, so we it will it will be very clear what we discussed, uh, what are we discussing on right now? But sorry, Felix, I think that I forgot your question. <laughs> Maybe I didn't address it. Uh, perhaps I can stop on that, like what to do next with that. And yeah, I think this would get the heavy, because it's quite easy to use once you kind of get the drift. And to me, like, is, hold on, let me check this current draft. Okay, so looks like the first section, this is not used in the draft, right? So this is basically uh, information how to read the below. So we could technically write the rules and the expectation in this up version. And then all of these sections are basically are filled out. So even like adding questions, which I mentioned before, what all of this page should include and the way people are like answering these and then they just come up with stuff and then yeah adding like a bump deal like a hey, you get a few ada tokens for joining here making an account and proving that you are how would another person prove that he used it so that because that would be needed else we could might get too much spam but that will get a lot of like initial feedback from people who kind of vote and we kind of get the idea of. I think that uh, like, like uh, I used a screenshot to prove that I have a Sway account and the deep, uh, deep funding uh, process. So user can just add a screenshot of, of username and some kind of, of some, some voting button is pressed. And I think it's uh, evidence good enough if we use it for other platform. Um, and, and, and Tivo, we, we, yeah, for sure, I, I can edit the text above. By, by the way, it does appear in the draft. If you, if you go to the draft, you can see below the title, you just need to click read more and then you will see the whole uh, oh. uh, rationale. Um, right now, uh, I, I created the, I have created this uh, uh, agreement, so I, I am the owner. My user is the owner, so I have the privilege to edit this uh, this uh, this text. Uh, late, I right now I think that maybe we should also add feature of co-owner. But would you like to draft something, to write something, and send me uh, of of how how the uh, what are the rules and what are the expectation, what are the questions that you think are missing? You know, it should be not too long, about two, maybe three paragraphs, 
uh, then just send it to me in this code on which other platform, platform you prefer and I will paste it. If you'd like to. Okay. What happens if I download it? Right now, nothing. Uh, as I said, you, right now you can only replace a section from in the draft, but later on the um, the voting mechanism will also allow you to remove. So if enough people will, will vote against uh, then it, uh, a section that is part of the draft, it will remove okay. it. So voting again, against makes it um, like harder to get established. And I think in this case, the, the danger here is that uh, as soon as a cohort of two or three people join and press like, 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 it automatically accepted into the draft. But I think there should be a time frame that every 24 hours after changes made, then update or something. But uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, hard to kind of figure what's the right time timeline. Yeah, right. Right now, what determines the the threshold for approval is what we call the consensus meter. Uh, it's the consensus meter takes into account the number of participants in the process. So every time that the draft is changed, the consensus meter is updated with the new number of participants. So as the number of participants is growing, and so we can create a gradual. Uh, increase in the in the in the in the people that uh, in the number of people of, of, of participant in the document. So as the as as the number is growing, the consensus meter and the threshold are adjusted to the new group. So we can start a, a process with ten participant, uh, and later on a, a more uh, 50, 50 more or a hundred will, will join. After the next uh, uh, change in the in the document, then the threshold will be updated. And more people we needed to participate in the voting, make in the voting to approve a, a section. And also we take into account, as it's, it's named, the consensus. So uh, if uh, uh, some section receive enough support to stand in the threshold, but there were there were also a lot of objections, th then the uh, consensus meter will be lower, and it will be easier to change the document later on. I hope it was clear. If not. I can show also a presentation that we have created for a, a, a better explanation of the consensus meter, but maybe it's not for now. Okay. So I think the best, uh, Felix, uh, um, for maybe it start start using the platform is um, is by uh, putting the right link to the for the specific section in the relevant places in 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 this in the discussion so if we ran into some 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 tweet or some uh, 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 announcement in the cardano forum in this course uh, and and it's related to the specific, and you see that, that, that there is someone with another with a new perspective or a new idea for the duration of the constitution committee or, or committee or for the better definition of the constitution or something like this. Then to to invite them to come and and put their perspective into the platform, and then we can capture it and bring more discussion into it later on. Yeah, Aaron, uh, from a business perspective, um, how do you plan on financing or monetizing this um, this platform of yours in your work? And I, th I think this is awesome, by the way. Kudos, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, there are two business routes that we are uh, that we are already start working on. The first is very traditional to provide consents as software as, uh, as a service. Uh, for uh, uh, traditional organizations. We have some consulting uh, firms that we are discussing with, some big NGOs, uh, municipalities. Uh, so this is one direction. Uh, the other in the, in the DAO uh, ecosystem, in the DAO and crypto ecosystem, is to create some kind of uh, um, a treasury management. So if we can create integration 
between a tre between a, a treasury management and the concerns. And let's say that some section in some a, a agreement has some a, a budget a application a, a, a on it. So we can create. So in in the wider discussion on values. And, and constitution and other high, high level, we can go also into a low resolution or higher resolution and more details. And by allowing this specific process to also manage uh, manage uh, uh, funds of DAOs, and by collecting, we can create some process that we can collect the fees, and also some kind of um, of tokens uh, for participation. So let's say a DAO governance a token a should be a, a, should be staked in order to receive some participation token in the in the consensus platform, and this will give a privilege, like to create new agreement or or to to bring more uh, content into into the platform. So this is also something that uh, we consider about the tokenomics. Uh, this is all very very. Uh, uh, rough ideas, very pre preliminary. That we still have not discussed the details, but uh, hopefully we, we will do it with the community as we start uh, also expanding our activity into creating DAO around consents. This is also something that we really uh, uh, hope to start moving ahead in the next few months. Another old thing we might encounter is the fact what I'm kind of doing <laughs> sometimes. Like if I misunderstand, well, for in this case, if I create my own version, what stops me to download all the other versions? And like, should that be a mechanism to kind of allow one vote painter section? And you can choose either yeah, but that's then odd. Mm, I'm not sure about it. I think it's le legitimate that you will downvote a competitor as a, a other section, but I think it's it's a, it's going back to the downvoting discussion in Catalyst as well. Uh, if 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 downvote is the right tool or not, I have been received some feedbacks that maybe. We should uh, think about other ways, but uh, because this way it would be hard to find a consensus or alignment in larger decentralized environments when there is like there are different opinions, and then if both opinions mm. like and dislike each other, then there is never going to be an agreement on a section. Yeah, well, the assumption is that most participants will not create new new version new suggestions but just vote and then they will be the judges of mm. of uh, the, the the ones that are more active uh, uh, and 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 really publish a suggestion of their of the of their own um, th this is the assumption the assumption that most people most participants will will vote uh, other will comment uh, a little uh, a smaller percentage will will uh, create new new suggestions, and even smaller will create new agreement. Uh, if it won't, uh, and the gamification uh, uh, mechanisms that we are thinking of also should support it. So it will be some kind of a cost to create new content, but you will get rewarded in the participation token for for if you uh, content has been approved by the community. But then again. Eventually, the the real battle tested of of the platform will be in B groups. So if we can see right now, the right now if you got, run into a, a discussion in Twitter and you really see a good perspective and you want to support it, all you can do is do like and that's it. So tomorrow this thread will be forgotten. But here, if you are doing, if you are voting for and you promote this as uh, this uh, suggestion to be part of the draft or you publish a new one it will be, it stays because of the structure it will be uh, easy to restore the uh, the access to it as well so hopefully by that be, although it's flaws and it's missing feature it will still provide uh, it will still provide a better experience in online discussions that happening right now
Okay, I think we are at the top of the hour. Yes. Can yeah. every person in this call kind of take five minutes to go to this link and simply vote? Because right now we have against two, three people, up, up to four people going here. But if we, everybody gives a few minutes to go through and read this all and put their opinion, we could already get the draft and so show it as a proof of concept that hey, you can in one hour to like some kind of like a document already in with this. Drop the no. link to here. I, re I really like what you have already been done here, uh, Tivo. Uh, some shared also my report uh, for somebody who has not seen the swarm session board where we took some notes i just use it for myself to do kind of match and find out the relations but it's not necessary i'm gonna try to improve this section This is the point how that you've taken before. Uh, what? This, this is on the mirror, mirror board. There are points that you've taken before on suggestion on the, on the CIP? Uh, no, these are actually not at all. This is basically how I read documents. <laughs> I take uh. sticky notes and copy paste uh. that. And so that I can visualize how these different sentences kind of uh, get are connected. Yeah. My my assumption sometimes when you read a document you get like a very nice graph and like oh this makes so much sense and sometimes you get nothing like this one but and still has some groups. So if it's okay, I wish to 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 share with you it's some it's not personal but I don't know if any one of you have, have heard news about the place that I am about Israel lately, but in my country. Uh, I born into a democracy, uh, and right now uh, the current government is creating is creating a, a huge constitutional uh, crisis. There are demonstration every day almost. All of my friends are going. There are a lot of uh, uh, political activity and a feeling that the current structure of of the state that we are living is falling apart because we don't have constitution because we are, there are different. Uh, uh, nations and different people with different ideologies in in the countries that I'm living in, and and the situation has become become a little bit scary. Also, uh, that maybe I won't be able to fulfill my values in this country. This is really scary thoughts that I have, because this is a place. Uh, this is my home. But while uh, the, the the this chaos and this breaking apart of democratic institution and 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 fighting the the judicial uh, branch and all this chaotic political chaotic around me with you and with with the the the, the cardano ecosystem i am building those institution i'm using my talent and conjoining with your talent to create a governance a, 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 a framework that can really benefit for us and while there is a lot of pessimism and a lot of fear in my uh, uh, region and in my political uh, uh, life. In my in this aspect of my life, I'm full of optimism and and really really hope that you also we can bring some of the the the, the good wills that we have in this community to to uh, to our, uh, to my country and other places in the world that need need this. So I just wanted to to share with you this feeling because it's very very permanent uh, uh, right now, and, and and to also to to share my gratitude for 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 allowing me, allowing me to do, to make this journey with you. Just for wishing. Thanks a lot for sharing, Lauren, and very same to you, man. I think already for the tool you built here, this is 
thanks a lot and deepest respect already for all the work, the thoughts and the efforts which have given, gone into this. I think there's a significant amount of really liquid work already done. Thank you. And dude, keep fighting. <laughs> You're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, really proud of what's happening in this aspect. You know, there are not many reasons to be proud of my country, but what's happening now does. Mm. But uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe I will come to refuge. There you are. Okay, so uh, 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 and there are any other question or remark about the platform? You have I'm also, sure. I, I remind you that you have the uh, provide feedback button, you can send it, it will get right into my email. Yeah. And I don't know, did you follow those warm discussions? And also, actually, I'm not even sure, did it move to community governance oversight uh, server? But I like the idea of um, trying to differentiate the, the, the sentences which are like technical choice and which are political choice mm. in this text, because there is a lot of like, and um, why it's done like this in the hair, like if there is like a rule, how it's going, like a, like a mechanism, what it's for. And then there is some reason of why this is here. And I think that tool, I imagine, could be quite cool for that, because then you could take all of these statements which are made in this document and we can, and the rule set is like, is this political or is this mechanical? And then people will vote yes or no, and they will get all kinds of stuff. Some are like clear mechanical, we could get them. And if you, if you say, if it's mechanical and you put yes, it will pull up a draft of all the messages what most people found that, yes, this is a mechanical feature of this CIP. And this way we could extract the framework out of this constitution and and yeah, also yeah. The, what is left is basically all the reasons why we want constitution yes. to exist. But I um, but I don't know what how the, the how valuable that would be. 